Hey guys, my name is Simsy. How you all doing? Welcome back to some more Total War Rome 2 here today on the channel. We're going to be playing on the Divide et Impera mod as Athens. We're going to be starting a brand new campaign series here today. So, if you like the sound of that, feel free to leave the video a like. Subscribe if you're new around here with notifications on. Let me know in the comment section down below feedback and suggestions. And feel free to leave a dislike. Enjoy the intros. Okay guys, welcome to the campaign map. So, let me know in the comments where you'll allow me to expand and conquer. I do have a little bit of a blueprint for this series where I want to go, but it's up to you guys. For this series, I want to spread Athenian democracy across the ancient world, bringing intellectual debate to all peoples. We could very well bring and make our own sort of Delian League if we wanted to. So we have our faction leaders here with the brothers of Xenophon with four units, and we've also got a small fleet here as well. Let's have a look at our faction leader. So we've only got just him by himself. We want to try and get him married off as quickly as possible. So how do you say that? Oh, I'm not Greek, so I don't know how to say this. So it's a Chimonides? Chimonides or Cremonides? I'm not entirely sure how to say that. So anyway, let me know in the comments. Greeky boys. Um, okay, so we do have some nice bonuses here. We're respected for now. We currently have the Senate or government under our control. Greek city-states. The world-renowned culture of the Greeks was built upon toil, keen thinking, and military excellence. So we get a plus five reset, research and cultural heritage. We are a republic for now. Logistics-wise, we're fine. Uh, respected as well, Imperium 2. Athenians. Very high party power. Medium research rate. Good leader for now. Manpower, only 2, uh, 25,000... Greeks with us is our character overview as well and here are the other notable families so we only have Athens for now I think pushing and hitting Sparta in the first episode is our best best hitting them hit them hard be relentless as they would be to us and we should be able to take them out before they gain strength up in the north we have Larissa which we could take Epirus and Macedon I want to try and take the entirety of Greece firstly there are a lot of ethnic D Greek holdings throughout Anatolia. Um, so Pergamon's here. I'm just trying to see. Sardis is one. Further north, not so much. The Cimmerians are over here. So I think uniting Greece under an Athenian banner would be our best bet. Then probably p focusing on Syracuse. We could even ally with them, make a really nice staging ground into Italy, get rid of the Romans, and then maybe push down into Egypt and Anatolia. So let me know in the comments who I should ally with and who I should knock off. Sparta, Rome, 
Egypt are definitely on the hit list. But I've been playing a lot of Assassin's Creed Odyssey lately. I, I do recommend it for YouTubers and stuff. You need a game that you just like sort of offline let's play. So after I finish the day of recording, I go and play Assassin's Creed Odyssey. And I've been having an absolute blast just getting so immersed in that game. I love the Assassin's Creeds. But regardless, we want to play as Athens here today. So we've got a couple of options. Let's have a look at what we're working with. So probably upgrading Athens as quickly as possible is a good idea. Fishmonger is not a bad idea as well. Uh, slowly upgrading this as well. What do we have to work with within our current army? So we've got some Greek skirmishers, Athenian hoplites, militia hoplites, uh, some Greek slingers there as well. Now, how much is this fleet costing me? Okay, it's costing me about 500 per turn. Um, I'm just thinking we could sort of inflate our economy quite quickly, but you know what? In a defense for Athens, if we do get attacked, we are playing on DEI, and especially on this difficulty, sometimes the AI does rush you like that. So I don't think disbanding them for a little bit more money um, will, will be fine. So tech-wise as well, uh, going for a public order bonus as well is definitely our best bet. I believe it's this one. Yes, plus two public order. So it takes 10 to go through that way. That's fine. We've got a spy here. So let's move her down to Sparta just to give us a little bit of a line of sight. So in Sparta itself, four units there with their king, Spartan hoplites. We've really got to watch out for, and it's quite a large garrison inside as well. Let's deploy you down. And try and steal some food. While we're on the topic of agents, let's bring some more in. So let's bring in a noble woman so we can get that government down. I want to try and take Larissa next. So we could very well get another one if we really wanted to. Upgrading our fish monger could be a possibility, but I don't think so. Uh, pushing to the border here now is probably our best bet. And seeing, having a look at what we can recruit pretty early on. Um, I could even get another additional army here, just to swell our ranks. Because uh, this doesn't cost much. And so, who is... So, so we are the light blue, purple, dark blue, and them. So maybe we could bring in... Potentially... So whoever's free, let's bring in the yellow there. So let's raise an army with you. And it does cost 750 for that, but we want to use that instead. Okay, so let's get to the border here now. So let's see what we're working with. Athenian hoplites do cost a little bit more, but we've got a massive treasury. Greek archers I quite like, especially because they can arc their shot up over. But looking overall, the slingers have slightly more ammunition, but less damage. And they've got more range. Sinnings, we're going to be fighting heavily armoured Spartans. Slingers, very early on, is probably our better bet. So let's get a couple of boys of them in, and then we'll try and get some of our own Athenian hoplites. So I only can get a couple there. Uh, okay, we'll just go with that for now then. Cavalry wise, we could get a couple more mercs though. The heavier infantry, just looking at... Because what I want to try and do is I want to try and rush them as quickly as possible. So maybe I'm better off getting more skirmish cavalry here because we can rely on heavier mercenary Greeks there and some skirmishes instead. So we'll drop one of those back and we'll go with a skirmish there. That's probably our best bet. And you can't get any more here either. That's fine. We're nearly ready to end the turn and continue. Uh, I could maybe change this to a harbour, technically. Alright, diplomacy-wise, let's see what we're working with. So let's sort by attitude, if we can. Oh, it already is that. So, we have Larissa up in the north. Um, I want to attack them, so no. Maybe some of the kingdoms that are a little bit far away from us. Macedon, we probably want to try and hit at some point. Uh, Egypt, for now, we could try and get trade with them. They've rejected. What about a non-aggression pact? No, they're not interested. Pontus, how about you? Uh, rejected. Um, Bithynia, would they like trade? No, they're not interested. I just feel like at the moment... Do we even have any resources within Athens itself? No, it's it's Sparta that has the marble and Larissa that has the olive oil there. So let's end the turn and continue. And we should be able to attack Sparta at the top of the next turn once we get some mercenaries in as well. 
Sacking in DEI, Divide et Impera, is quite fruitful. So we're going to be able to spend a lot of our money on mercenaries beforehand and make it back and, and even it out. Sparta wanted a trade agreement there, but there's no way in hell I'm going to accept that one. You guys called us boy fuckers. <laughs> You're going to get us. Oh, what? War has been declared. Oh, come off it. The Daco Thracians have declared war upon us. Oh, that's this difficulty for you. Just rushing. That's DEI for you, to be honest. <laughs> Uh, great, so hopefully we don't get sort of ganged up on too much. So what's happened now? Macedon are at war with them. Egypt's at war with Sardis. Sparta and Macedon are at war. Wow, okay, so we'll deploy you there. That's all coming along swimmingly. Let's move my fleet back into Athens itself to defend. And... They have brought in slightly some more units there. So let's have a look at what we can bring in. Oh, so we've got some more. Yeah, so let's actually bring in these two lots of cavalry. We'll bring in the hoplites as well. Uh, am I being a little bit too overcompetent? Like getting all this. And then we've got this additional army coming in as well. Is this enough? 14. And then there's 14 inside though. We only can get one more. Maybe just getting some archers. Because you can never be too under-prepared. I think that's enough. And we can even siege them out for one turn if we wanted to. Alright, let's... Uh, first of all, yeah, you need to move down here. You need to trespass within Sparta. Diplomacy-wise, yeah, it doesn't really matter. Actually... Seenings Macedon declared war upon them so early. What I'm going to do is I'm going to join your war against Sparta. Hi. Ah, we might be able to force through some diplomacy here. Ah, a defensive pact with Macedon. That's actually not too bad of an idea because eventually you want to take out Macedon and be the undisputed, undisputed ruler of Greece. However, you can pick apart Larissa... Epirus, and maybe even like Pergamon, and then betray them? I'll see if this goes through. No way. <laughs> the faction leader for Athens has negotiated with the king of um, Macedon. Joint confederation, low. Trade rights, uh, military alliance? Nah, they're not going to accept that. Military access, sure, we'll accept that. We'll try and get a payment out of this. Ah, oh, this is what I love about DI. You can get some really good negotiations here. Oh, I'm so happy that they war decked them. I, I am not going to lie. I'm seriously surprised that they did that. So we'll try and cheese out as much money from this situation as we can. Maybe it's only 1800 we can get. An accepted. Wow. So we actually can get some more mercenaries here. Just to be overly resoundingly secure. Alright, well, let's push against Sparta here today. Okay, so we've got this in our favour now, just because the amount of men we've brought. So what I'm worried about is their heavy Spartan warriors there. They've got some Spartan hoplites. Uh, archers further at the back. Greek militia and some hoplites here. Alrighty, let's chuck a quick save and a hard save before we fight this one. Alrighty, save's gone through. Let's Fight this one on the field. So it's going to be a field battle. Because Sparta has no walls. So they outnumber us by about 400 men. So we have the brothers of Xenophon against the Spartan destroyers. For democracy, my friends. For intellectual debate. <laughs> and liberty. Okay, guys, welcome to the battle map. It's a nice dry day. Let's start the deployment. Okay. Oh, we saw them for a split second there, but they seem to be on our right side. So let's rally up all our hoplites and make a wall like that for now. Uh, skirmishes, peltasts and stuff. Slingers and archers can shoot further back. Uh, these guys kind of on the flanks is probably, yeah, the, like the better bet. 
All right, let's move our general back here, and then we got reinforcements coming in. And cavalry wise, we'll try push up, harass, and parry where we can. So let's have a look at some of these Greek mercenaries throughout this series as well. I'd really like to get a strong navy to sort of run and raid around the Mediterranean, <laughs> flex on that Athenian naval supremacy. Okay, so here we have our faction leader, of course, with his main hoplite guard. I love the blue of Athens. Skirmishers and ar archers further at the back. Hoplites further in the center there. So, man, oh, man, that play with Macedon early on was definitely well worth it. All right, let's just move my cavalry up to here. And then we'll start the fight. We've got my reinforcements coming further the back as well. So that'll give us another general. So by the look of it, it looks like the enemy have put their deployables there. So that would have given them away anyway, their positioning. Our reinforcements have arrived. As much as I love you, Mark Strong, we need to suppress your freedom of speech. So we're slightly getting in range here now. We want these guys to be about here a bit more. And the heaviers could maybe just sit here a bit and push where we can. So let's move them up. But I was sort of craving some ancient total war. If you guys like to see more Rome 2 on the channel, just support it and I'll do more. The Julius Caesar in Gaul campaign did really well. And before that, the Mark Antony series. So this is the first time we've divulged from Rome recently. Okay, so we need to watch out for these stones and pikes. So maybe trying to uh, bait and draw one out. We might be able to get a charge in there if we're lucky. But I still haven't done a Wrath of Sparta series in a while. That could be a potential pack. Yeah, try and get... I think... Uh, we just want to try and bait them out a bit more. Honestly. Yeah, now the shot's coming on. We just need them to come out a bit more instead of sitting back like that. Yeah, this is what we want. Go into melee mode and hit that. I reckon we'll be quick enough. Because that's overextended enough. We could even hit something like that, to be honest, as well. We just need to get rid of these skirmishes. Go, 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 boys. Ah, oh, they're just too quick. They've gotten back. Damn you. They're intertwining with their men so well. Maybe hitting these helid archers further south is probably better. Oh, God, they've perfectly baited that. Right, we just need to move up with our infantry now. Because our cavalry aren't finding any luck. Which is a shame. Yeah, they're just sort of sitting back there. We're trying to cycle charge where we can, but they're just intertwining them so well. Pull back. We might just need to move everyone up there. Maybe we just need to let them to do their thing and skirmish. Against these heavy infantry that are now coming in. And pull back. That yeah, seems to be working somewhat. They're shielding and protecting their men quite well. Hitting them side on is probably the best bet there. Yeah, hit those guys that are running. You never know. You might be able to be able to, you might be able to break through in between something like that. 
Maybe not, though. We're nearly running out of our skirmishes anyway. They're just shielding them so well. I'm quite impressed. Alright, let's move back here. And let's move you in there as well. So let's get this infantry to try and match that. Because I just don't reckon you're going to... Like, if you go here, right? I don't reckon that can catch them. They're just too quick. They that they might have been split there, though. Now. Yeah, they've, they've committed too much. We've got them there. We did have to push through th through some stone barricades, but they're gone now. Oh, finally. This is what we wanted. We wanted them to overcommit. Bait the cavalry back out. Just throw everyone down in there. Yeah, we got them. Okay, they're moving up to into a better quality position. Uh, yeah, I'm just... I'm, I'm, I'm not going to lie, I was quite in... Uh, we might have just fucked ourselves a bit here because we need to push this way. We need to watch out for those stakes, for the love of God. Yeah, so we got rid of one of those skirmishes. Now you can push through this. They're not going to light that on fire anyway, so no worries. Alright, move you there. Move you down this way. Alright, let's move everyone up here now. Furthermore. Yeah, and then f put them on the flanks. Because these guys are quite strong, especially these skirmishes. Yeah, so they... I think it's when I give it like an attack order. Because if I just go like this, we seem to catch them more. More or less. Anyway, they can move down here. We've nearly got all their skirmishes gone. Those helot archers. So they're medium spears. If we could somehow... Oh, yeah. A lot of Peltast is sort of just hitting us there now. Swing further down this way. That's got him. That's good. There's only a couple more lighter ones there. So some of our own guys are starting to skirmish that a bit more. A couple of our archers have found range. Fall back closer this way. We're making our skirmishes work for this. I'm not even going to lie. Bring that cavalry down here. We want to try and phase out this last lot of javelin men. Yeah, without getting too close. Alright, maybe we just sit back then. Okay, our archers are starting to engage some of the hoplites and stuff on the side. Sitting cavalry further back is probably a bit safer. Instead of having cavalry running back and forth through the ranks. Yeah, start, some of the slingers are hitting there. You want to focus. You want to. You want to focus on the heavier infantry if you can. Uh, what other abilities do we have? We do have a phalanx formation, but I don't want to deploy that just yet. They've been annihilated now anyway. You will lose if the timer runs out. That's fine. That's food for thought. So any... We've weakened the skirmishes enough so that anything that sort of comes near us... We're skirmishing. But at the end of the day... You guys mustn't forget, we are fighting with a lot of mercenaries here, so we're not losing ethnic Athenians, we're only losing cell swords. So we're starting to skirmish out where we can. It's 
Still trying to bait and keep up what we can. Might be able to get a charge in there. Not oh, they're broken anyway. Yeah, it looks like they're coming for us now. Which is fine. Just hold the line. Skirmish. We'll try and get... Oh, no. They keep on just coming back and forth. They're calculating that they're... Not entirely sure. Well, if we can skirmish, the more the better. Still being a little bit indecisive. Just constant back and forth here. How are our ammunition going with some of our skirmishes? Archers are still fine. We might just need to pin them down, to be honest. Yeah, let's just go for it now. Because we've wasted too much ammunition on skirmishes and stuff. We really just need to dig in now. Like pill tests on the flanks. And everyone else that's ran out of ammunition just move up here. Yeah, so we're really pushing them to the border here. It's going to be a backs to the wall performance. But you got to give it to the Spartans. They're making us work for this. Maybe just try and get the two central banks to push in there. And maybe we'll just try and surround them. I don't know what the hell they're doing. So odd. Because now they're breaking at the last minute. What in the fuck? Okay, so that's now pushing there. That's fine. Pick a target and go. Alright, flank this way. Get the skirmishes down there. Alright. Try and get this cavalry around the back eventually. Maybe they've just sort of worked out that they can't win this one. Right, move everyone up here. Fall further back. Cycle charge that. Push into the back of this. Fire into that where you can. Uh, we could go with a flaming shot. Into that, ex for example. The camera actually just doesn't like it being restricted there a bit. Alright, cavalry, make something like that. Alright, push against them. Let's drop some of these abilities here now. Alright, push into that now properly. Continue to skirmish into that. Let's cycle charge this a bit more, please. Yeah, so they were they were quite reactionary with our skirmishes and they made us waste a lot of ammunition which I didn't really realize until a little bit late but they're making us fight on their terms narrow passes heavy hand-to-hand -hand combat the Spartan elites as well really going for it now Even though we're firing upon our own men a little bit, it's fine. Because we can drop their morale a lot more. Okay, let's pull my cavalry back. Alright, continue to push into the last of them where you can. A lot of units been freed up here. Yeah, it's these Royal Spartans here. Try and focus on them. A couple of our boys are breaking there. Maybe they're better off to be hitting the side of this because it's a bit more cleaner. 
Alright, let's move these Athenians up that are sitting slightly idly by it. And we'll try and cycle charge into that a bit more. With my cavalry. Yeah, but they're pretty well planted, that's the thing. Okay, that arrow fire is coming in well. Oh, don't want to deploy that. Alright, you're pushing that well. Yeah, flank a bit more this way. Yeah, 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 there we go. They were breaking for a split second there. Yeah, there we go. Continue to push and stick it up them. They're now breaking. They're broken now. Push into the last of that. Yeah, it's the Spartan Hoplites that are the last ones holding out here. Wow, we. I'm lucky I brought those one, two additional more units because I'm not going to lie, we desperately needed them in that fight towards the end. Victory! We have victory against the Spartans. Vengeance, or. The Peloponnesian War has now officially been put to rest. Okay. So, oh, God, they're cheeky buggers running into those pikes like that. Trying to bait the last lot of casualties. Yeah, some of the AI are really going for that. Which is a shame. So we'll run down the last of these guys. And now because we've hit Sparta so early, we're going to be able to consolidate and hold our position massively. With the alliance with Macedon in the north, we'll keep that for now. It's essentially a marriage of convenience for us. Larissa, Epirus is probably next on the list. So, Chimonides, or Cremonides, the faction leader of Athens, the leading statesman deployed 2,910, lost 730. Uh, I feel like we lost a lot more than what I would have probably liked, but that's actually not too bad. We were outnumbered by 500 with proper fighting Spartans. A fighting man, they are. Uh, 3,468. They lost 2,874. Some of the Spartans got 117. Spearman, 80. The bodyguard only got 78. Compared to our bodyguard, they've got 60. The mercenaries, 218, 179. Well, the cavalry really dragged us home. And it wasn't actually the heavily armoured melee cavalry. It was the skirmish. 258, 196. Even though our skirmishers expended, especially our slingers, a lot of their ammunition early on. They've still got 173. Wow, these guys got a 289? Oh, those guys wreck and divide at Impera. 132, because they had to fight a bit more. But having those Peltas slash Javelin men on the flanks worked wonders. And then Slingers further in the center. Wow, that was excellent. Okay, guys, welcome to the campaign map. We didn't lose any of our entirety of our units, but we've managed to defeat Sparta here today. So we've got a couple of interesting options which could, well, it can really change the course of the campaign forever, I guess. So we can liberate, we can raise, we can sack, we can subjugate the men of Sparta. Now, if we were to just straight up occupy, we will secure our southern border and Sparta will never return. If we subjugate these people, we will be able to levy directly from this province. And we will be able to have warriors of Sparta under direct Athenian control and have them in our armies. We would really be bringing the Greek world, um, the best of the Greek world to the, to the what's, what's the known world, I guess. Um, but, 
I don't know. I, I, I have done a Spartan campaign before. And I don't want to sort of taint the Athenian armies with this Spartan red. So I think we'll just occupy them straight up. Look, if you agree or disagree, it's basically up to you. We could very well let them rebel. Um, and let them take it back then. Subjugate them again. Also, if we do subjugate them, they will be... They probably will have, eventually at some point, probably like two full stacks in Sparta. And you can never trust the AI in a total war. So, if they ever do betray us, it could be incredibly costly. So, do we sacrifice a bloody war with two full stacks just for the sake of levying Spartans? Yeah, it's debatable. But I'm not going to, so... We're going to occupy the city of Sparta straight up and set about the Athenian blue banners. Sparta has been destroyed in turn two of our Let's Play campaign. Now, now is this a new, unique sort of Spartan building or something? No, it's not. So we can break that down for now and we'll try and yield the marble within Sparta itself. Pushing down further in the region of Hellas, we have Crete not under our control, so we can push and take the entire province there. But unfortunately, guys, it's time to end Episode 1 of the Total War Rome 2 Divide et Impera modded Athenian campaign. Support this video and I'll do more. We're going to have to go after Larissa Lek next. We do have a small piece with an alliance with the Macedonians. Hopefully we can sort of pick apart um, settlements in and around the Mediterranean and make Athens great again. Unfortunately, guys, it is time to end the video here. Thank you very much for watching. Like and subscribe if you haven't already. Let me know in the comment section down below your feedback for the series. And if you'd like to see more, that's the best way to ensure more content. Leave a dislike if you're not enjoying the series. Check out my social media links if you want to stay connected with me. Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, all in the description below. Patreon and merchandise link in the description below, along with the Steam group. Come and join the community on Steam. And on that note, unfortunately, I have to end the video here. Thank you very much for watching once again. Make sure to take care of yourselves. Go out and have a fantastic rest of your day. My name is Ben Simsy. Goodbye.